Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. How's it going, Frank? Joey, birthday boy, ladies and gentlemen. The day that we are recording this, you might not know, but it's this fucking beautiful bitch's birthday, <laughs> my guy. It is. It is. Happy birthday, Joey. Thank you, Dad. Happy. Bur- that that was good. That felt good. That my felt dad good. called me yesterday to tell me my birthday. Oh, he got it wrong. No, no, no. He called me yesterday. He's like, I know you're a fucking bitch and you're not going to oh, pick up yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, he yeah. called me today also. I, but, well. My dad does this thing where he'll call me and then I pick up. He's like, oh, cool. Yeah. Five times that day. Oh, really? Oh. And I pick up two, ignore the rest. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. If I hung up, if I didn't answer my parents' calls, it would be like a, are you okay? You live? No, my dad sends me an email. Uh, which Damn, your dad I, emails I, you? Yeah. What's your dad's email? I want to say it because it's so funny. Yeah. So there's, you know what? I'm going to say it, but it's not going to be the actual one because there's numbers that yeah. are involved. Yeah. But just know that in the email, there's rock and roll. Oh. <laughs> yes. My dad's email has rock and roll. Oh, and, and yes. Rock and roll. like Not fully rockin'. Spe- no, not roll. rockin'. Not rockin'. Rock, mm, roll. No, not like Captain Crunch. Oh, that's that's a good mm. That's a, yeah, that's a great mm. Uh, cookies and cream. <clears throat> yep, yep. Cream. That's going. Yeah, yeah. Just going through twenty nine. Still so fucking. So for your birthday, so for your birthday, I I know you know I I'm new dad. I haven't been able to have any drinks, and uh, we're adults, so we don't do this whole like here's a birthday gift. Also because I put no thought into it. Right. Um. Right. Right. <laughs> Great and right. I figure we can just do a birthday shot. Just one birthday shot. Uh, of my making. Just to give you something for your Just birthday. so everyone knows, we're going to knock down the third wall, fourth wall. Which wall is it? Four. We're going to knock down the fourth wall. Uh, Frankie was like, oh, I'm going to make a shot. And then walked into my kitchen and he forced me, and he shooed me away. And he's like, I'll come up with something. So I'm probably not going to do whatever you're doing here. No, no, no it's good. You're going to like it. Are you going to explain what's in it? Because yeah, I'm not yeah, taking a mystery shot. There's nothing in here yet. I'm going to pour it. I'm going to make it in front of you. This okay. is going to be the, the, the San Agato birthday shot, and I hope that you guys go out there and make it and make it yourself. We should, by the way, come up with a cookbook and a fucking drink recipe book. Just want to throw that out there. Or we could just we could invest in creating like a whiskey or some sort of thing. Oh, and then push that. yes. Yeah. It'd be called... Um, uh, it, That's it. Nope. That's it right so there. So we're going to start with some tequila. Oh, Casamigos. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I've never had Casamigos. Speaking of tequila, actually, Kendall Jenner's coming out with a, with a tequila. A lot of people hate it. Well, Not yeah. that they hate it, but they hate they that hate she They hate Kendall Jenner. It. Well, they hate, they said like something about cult, cultural appropriation, but I don't really know the rules. Yeah, I, I heard about this the other day. It's like, just we're just getting rid of, we're tired of canceling people for every little thing. You know what it is? If it was coming out and the tequila was called like, ay, 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 ay my burrito, I would understand why, <laughs> why people would be upset. But didn't she put, like, actual fucking, like, research into it and shit? Apparently, she, like, submitted herself into, like, tasting contests, like, competitions. Yeah, and, yeah. And yeah. won them. Yeah. So, like, she's, like, I mean, I mean, I've mean, i been drinking a very long time. Well, I'll tell you this. And did I you buy that. this yourself? I did. Okay. Uh, rule number one of tequilas, you want to stay away from clear tequilas. You want darker ones. The Añejos, they, uh, you know, because they're... Uh, more shut the, the fuck they, up. I'm telling you, clear tequilas are the minimally aged. You want the darker ones, the añejo, the reposado. Uh, so we're starting with tequila. So we're going base tequila. Okay, so let me put my shaker in here, which, by the way, does have ice. Um, you put ice in there? Of course I did. And yes, I rinsed it out. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, so have you ever made a drink before? Of course I have. Look at how I'm holding the jigger. That's what it's called. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I'm impressed that you even know what that's called. So you go, we'll go. There we go. There we go. Whoa, what are we doing? Daddy! <laughs> there we go. What are you doing? It's a tequila shot. Uh, that's a lot of shot. you got nowhere to be but here. I All know, right? Who the fuck are you kidding? I haven't okay. had a drink in a long time. Me neither. Uh, so then I have these wonderful, wonderful tequila glasses. I mean, no, they're shot glasses. Shot glasses, which are rimmed in honey, which, yes, is <laughs> So for those of you guys who don't know, Joey spilled a bottle of honey in you his drawer. You used that honey? Of course I did. Why did you use the honey that spilled in the drawer? Because it's the one that you don't care about, obviously. I would rather have the honey that I care about. No, I wouldn't use your raw, expensive honey. I used the that one honey's that great, though. you spilled in your drawer oh my that's God. sitting in a pile of parsley right now. <laughs> so, uh, just line. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of Jacobson's flaky salt on the rim here. Okay. 
So honey and salt. So, um, you know, you get a little bit of the saltiness, a little bit of the sweetness. Jesus Christ! Big flake. Is this off of the fucking Titanic? What? I, I don't know where I bought that salt from, but it's really good. Is it? It is. It's really good. I mean, it's salt, so, you know. That is nice. Well, I know what to do. Put it in here. And then do this. Look at this. This is coming out profesh, baby. That's a lot of fucking salt. It's coming out profesh, baby. This <laughs> is looking great. What is so happening? Far. Take the rest. Did you just take a shot of salt? <laughs> yeah, baby. Ew, you sick freak. All right, now. Give me some. Yeah, it's good, right? It's good. It's great. It's good. Now, what's going to go with this? Here's what we're going to do. You didn't have regular sugar, so I just got... Uh, the sugar, like, crystals, these green sugar crystals. You know those go on top of cupcakes. I know exactly where they go. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put it in here. Just a little sweetness. Frankie. A little sweet. Can I see that for a second? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Is it making it better? What are you looking for? I don't know. All right. There's no, like, ingre like there's no, like, nutrition facts on it. Now, baby. We're going nice. We're going nice and fresh. We're going to go some muddled, fresh, assorted berries, Joe. Muddled, fresh, assorted berries. Look at this. You got a raspberry. What's the date on those? Yeah, these. Oh, no, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will say they are a little sour for my liking, but in they go. So a little of this. You're making this up as you're going along. One thousand percent. Well, I assume that when you put this green sugar. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, Joey, what you do is you take your muddler. Mm-hmm. Frankie's now muddling. And you muddle. You muddle in here. Right. Because what you're doing is you're releasing all the wonderful juices and aromatics. Aromatics. Yeah, baby. Look, you really want to get in there. You had some blueberries in there that I'll be honest, I thought I brought in, but I forgot. That's okay. Um, and uh, you muddle a little bit. Seems like you muddled a lot of it. And you put that back. I think I put that in the wrong one. Yep, that goes there. Now, just for the sake of, for the sake of this, oh, we're just gonna go right up here. And we're just gonna. Look at that, baby. I don't know why I did that. I need to pour it with the strainer. Oh, <laughs> and look at this. Do you know there's going to be chunks of... Uh... I know exactly what there's going to be. Delicious. Look at that. Oh, baby. Joey's birthday shot. You just made a smoothie. Dude, there, I can literally see chunks of fruit in there. Oh, what a problem. All right, Joey. Listen, man. 29 years... You done great. I'm proud of you. You done no. You you know you're my best friend in can the you, whole wide world. Can you make the speech in Sean Paul's voice? <laughs> <laughs> can I without yeah. coming off as slightly racist? Oh no, that's what. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the point. Yeah. Hey, go ahead, do it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get you gotta do it. Joe, you are my best friend. Yes, and I made a shot for you now. I got some berries and you tequila have to sing. in the. Shot glass and salt. All right. Hey, happy birthday to you. You're my best friend in the whole world. Uh, uh, I love you. And here's to another 29. That's it. You only get 29 more. <sighs> Jesus. 58 is where you're clocking out. Thanks for the. Thanks for that. How is it? <laughs> Yo, honestly. Good? No. Not good. Nuh uh. Not good at all. It's good enough to drink. Okay. Should I do a little lick? No, no, no. Go for it. Just go for it. Oh, my God. Yo, the fucking... Salt. Between the salt and the honey, it's like shards of glass now. <laughs> it's <laughs> mad. <laughs> I almost cut my tongue. <laughs> okay. Not the worst. You've had worse. You're lucky I didn't do what I wanted to do originally in Pickleback. I would have... It's it's sharp. These 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 blades of glass are sharp. Yeah. 
have this happen. Well, happy birthday, Joey. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. No problem. It's a fucking mess over here now. Can you get me something to clean this shit up with? Yeah, here. It's a sock. <laughs> a worn, by the way, worn sock. Yeah, I wouldn't give you a clean sock. Oh, man. That was good. That was good. I'm glad you liked it. This yeah. is what I do for you. I appreciate it, man. This is what I do for you. I'm going to leave it here just so people, uh, if they do want to create their own uh, version of it. Honestly, the fruit... Not bad, right? It uh, it 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 ma- masked uh, the uh, <laughs> everything else. Yeah, the tequila. Yeah, I, I just mean, felt like I had a smoothie. Yeah, that was basically what you had. Nice. And uh, oh. it was uh, it was delicious. Do you feel older? I know that's the first question everyone jokingly asks on everyone's birthday. Do you feel older yet? No, I do feel like um. I feel like I'm just getting started, honestly. Damn, that and is such not, a fucking hustler mentality right there. It's actually there. not. You're just getting started. That's not what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it's like a, a, a negative thing. Not a negative thing, but I just feel like I can do, a, I want to do a lot more. You are one of the few people, life. you are one of the few people that I can confidently say this about. Every year you set goals for yourself and you pretty much hit them every single year. Like, and, and, and I'm not saying like, you know, it's like goals, like I want to fucking violate OSHA laws, labor laws, all that stuff. Like you do that, but <laughs> <laughs> like, you'll say like, yo, next year, like I'm coming up with this today by next year, it's done. I'm fucking figuring this out. You do that. You do like pay the price is such a great fucking example, which you guys can go support right <laughs> Holy now shit. at uh, Kickstarter. Uh, dot, dot pay the price game dot com. That's right, baby. And uh, we just hit a hundred thousand dollars. We did on your birthday. Yeah, we as if I'm getting anything from yeah, this. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. But uh, make sure you do it, and you can go support the Patreon, the show, me really, Patreon dot com slash the basement yard, where you get every single weekly episode a week in advance. That's right, a whole week in advance. When you go on the YouTube comments and you see people commenting six days ago, and you're like, how the hell did that happen? Guess what? It's because they're patrons. Or, and you can get exclusive content every single Friday morning that people do not get access to, and it's fucking wild. Yes, it's it's a fun time. Uh, but 8,000 patrons, Joey's doing an enema. Might be there by the time this comes out. You don't know. Yeah, I could, I could get enema It Damn. could happen. You're going to have a wet asshole. I'm f- super into that. By the way, this morning, you know what I did? I woke up, signed up for a half marathon. Oh, <clears throat> he's back, ladies and gentlemen. Marathon Joe is back. He's back on the streets. I was like, you know what? 29, people are like, oh, you're getting older? I'm going to get in the best shape I've ever been in my life. Oh, man. I can't wait for you to only talk about this. No, I, that's the thing, too. And I actually talked Do about- Do you still have the boxing gloves that you don't use anymore? Well, I can't go to the fucking gym. Why not? It's COVID. People still go to the gym. Yeah, but not a boxing... The boxing gym that I go to is, like, oh, very like old and, very, like... very... Like, they spit in each other's mouths. Yes. Gotcha. Like, there's not a lot of ventilation. Uh, but, yeah, I just figured... Once I get vaccinated, though, I'm in that hoe. Fast. Yeah? Yeah. But one of the things I actually talked about, because I had therapy this morning and landed on my birthday, which is very nice. <laughs> no, but I, I had talked about how, like, the, the marathon thing... By the way, what I'm about to say is hilarious and ironic. But I, I'm not going to be, like, posting about me doing it. Or like, yeah. you know what I mean? I, I, I could smell the irony from here. Right. Yeah. But the reason why I'm saying that is because, I mean, we we're just having this conversation as a podcast. But like every day, like I go out and do a run. I'm not going to be like, oh, I just ran three miles. I just ran six miles. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. You got to just like do stuff for yourself. Today, 29 is me first. That's right, baby. That's not right. Not to be confused with me too. Lovely movement. Also necessary. But me first. Yes. Is my in, 20, in your 29th year of age, you're finally putting the white man first. Exactly. Got him. Because the white man is being <laughs> held down by the country. Oh, man. White hetero man, you know, a white hetero As a white straight male, I feel like I finally need to... To fo- focus on yourself. To, 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 ben- to reap the benefits <laughs> of, you know... Of being who you are. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, man, I support you wholeheartedly. <laughs> You know, I, I wish you the best. I really do. Thank you, dude. Fucking half marathon? Yeah, 13.1. Where Where is it? It's in Brooklyn. Oh, that's going to suck. Yeah. Isn't Brooklyn like four miles long? So what, are you just going to run back and forth? Brooklyn's huge. It's not as big as Queens. That Also huge. Queens is bigger. Yeah, but like Brooklyn's fucking long. No, it's, it's, a, it's like a four and a half mile loop. So you run it like three times or something. Oh my it. god, that sounds awful. Yeah, it doesn't sound cool, but like, you know, and, and during the pandemic when I was like super bored, I was running all the time. I was mm-hmm. able to run eight miles in one shot. 
Really? And like I felt fine. Yeah, I I actually ran it at the track. <laughs> wow, god damn! I, I was just running around the track for. I remember miles. when you were talking about when we all had that app. That um, what was the app called? The the the, the running app. Strava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I was I was running too, and I was getting maybe a mile and a half in, yeah. maybe. But, but I yeah, you were, you were fucking crushing that. You were going on like runs with friends, which is stupid. No, I never ran with anyone. Oh, that was Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Pete. I I, I can't run with other people because I have to like. I don't know. I just feel weird. But I, I just want to get into, like, really good shape and, and like, mentally be able to sign up for something and be like, yo, you have to do it. Like, originally when I was like, yo, I want to run a half marathon, like, to myself, like, a couple of days ago, I was like, I'm going to train for it because there's a program that you follow. I found a program that I like. Is, is it like one day you run, you know, 2.2 miles without stopping, then 2.4 the next day or something? Yeah. I mean, it's not, like, without stopping. I mean, it's just assumed that it's not stopping. But yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. But it's like... You'll ha- it'll show you like which days to rest and like okay run three miles here three miles here and then six miles and Damn, then like I should get one of those for like competitive eating because I eat a lot yeah that'd be fire that'd be you're dope. doing a half marathon I'm doing the fucking Nathan's hot dog contest <sighs> do you know how fucking cool that would be no well not for you yeah for Health me it wouldn't be wise for yeah. my colon it would suck oh for your colon it would actually blow colon blow yeah yeah uh, I but that's what we should maybe one of us should do a, a food contest an eating contest. I'm not good at that at all. They make, they do. I saw one that I, I think I would actually do. They did like a hot pepper eating contest. It's like you just eat peppers like one after another. And it's like whoever bows out last wins. That's, that one I would do. That's psychotic. Why not? I did the, the pak chip challenge. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but like just eating mad peppers. Why not? It's good for you. It's from the earth. It can't yeah, be bad for I'm, you. I'm sure that if you put enough spices in that stomach, it'll start to creep up and you'll start throwing up fire. Oh, no. I don't, I don't throw up, baby. I don't throw up. But like acid reflux. I don't have that. Not yet. I will hope I never You haven't do. eaten a thousand peppers yet. You're, you know what? You're not wrong. Exactly. You're not wrong. But that's what's going to happen, all right? Yeah, birthday boy. I see you're getting a lot of grays in your As 28th year of life. You got a lot of grays. Ben you know? had these on the side? No, on the top, baby. Top? I can't oh, see yeah, the yeah, side yeah. because well, you, got, you got your weekly fade. <laughs> I haven't gotten a haircut in that long, actually. Are you serious? Yeah. That's just what it looks like? No, I got one yesterday. Oh, okay. But like I haven't gotten one in, in a long time. Yeah, uh, I... But I, uh, yeah, I've had grays. I've had grays for some I time. I want grays. I want grays so bad. I don't really have a lot, but like I, I want have a few. I want like like you know how like Davino at like fourteen had like mostly grays. Yeah, he was like Taylor Hicks. Anyone remembers him? Damn, that guy sucks. He had a good voice. Did he? I think. Give me one Taylor Hicks song. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any songs by you him. You can't. You can't. But he used to sing songs on the show. He was on a show. No, you think everyone sounds like I that. I do. I do, and I'm <laughs> mostly wrong. I, I absolutely do. Everyone thinks that sounds like that. Oh, God. Uh, I could. I honestly don't remember anyone past Fantasia Barino. Holy shit. Yeah, you remember her? Imagine having the name Fantasia. Uh, yeah. Do you remember Ruben Stuttered? Do I remember Ruben Fucking Stuttered? guy was a classic. That guy had multiple necks. He was so sorry for 2004. 2004. Yeah. That was an excellent year. That, uh, yeah. It was a very good year. Yeah. And he had a lot of rolls on the back of his neck. He was a big man. He was a fat boy. Is he dead yet? Um, yet. That was fucked up on my part. Yeah. I, I, Technically, I, you're right because everyone dies. So yet is fair. Fair. But it's f- like... F- I, I don't want to insinuate that he might be closer to death than me. Technically, he is. He's older than you. In some regard, if we're measuring death in proximity and age. Well, not what? Death proximity doesn't necessarily need to be an age. It could be, you know, we live different lifestyles. Yeah, but you don't wrestle crocodiles and like... Yeah, but I also... He, he doesn't fucking eat cauliflower. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're in different... That's what I mean. I think he's, it's safe to say he's closer. Man, maybe. I guess so. I had a dream about a fucking... That I got attacked by an alligator Did he last die? Time. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I don't, I don't remember. You want one of these berries, dude? No. You want one? Ruben stuttered. No, nah, he's alive. Okay. He's, he's 42. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, um, he got a Grammy Award nomination. For what? Best male R&B vocal performance for his recording of Superstar. You ever heard of that song? Is that the... Um, is it like a remix of... Or like a, like a rendition of the Earth, Wind, and Fire one? You've heard that one. Go ahead. Boom, boom, did it. Boom. No, just the, just the lyrics, Frank. How if you wish upon a star? 
Maybe we'll take new memory fire. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe. You're sh- a shining star, I think. Yeah, that's a different song. Yeah, but it's a good one. You're a shining star. But it'll rain, game. But it'll rain, game. Shining bright to see. But it'll rain, game. It's true to, to me. It's true to me. I don't know. Damn. What, what movie does that remind you of? Instantly. Three, two, one. Austin awesome Powers. Yep. That's why we're best friends. Yep. That's it. That's what our whole friendship is predicated on. Austin awesome Powers. Speaking of Austin awesome Powers, yes, the Asian guy, ahead. murderer. Wait, who? The Asian guy who throws the shoe, murderer. In the movie? No, no, no. Life. What? He ki- he killed. He killed. He really? Re- recently. Re- what? Recently killed. What? Or, or kidnapped and raped or, or something. Whoa, whoa. We're getting dark here, baby. I said killed. And I said raped. Killing is, is killing. Killing's worse than rape. Is it? I'm not going to touch that one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one. both bad. Yeah. Both bad. Both not bad. I'm not going to touch that one. Um, Asian man, Austin Powers. He killed. He killed. He killed. Joseph Hyung Min Sun. Henchman. Called him a henchman. Rape torture. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, it was like the kid from fucking High School Musical was like doing fucking uh, crystal meth. Yeah. Well, sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do that. But I mean, you don't. no. I don't. Th- listen. You don't have to do that. I'm saying it's not, it's different than fucking rape torture. Yeah. No, I know. But I'm saying like sometimes like the dark side of these fucking popular people. Not that this guy was popular, but... He uh, he asked the woman for directions, and then with another man, dragged her to their car, threw her in the back, and drove away. Uh, the other man told her they were driving to Compton, pistol-whipped her, and repeat- repeatedly threatened to kill her. And then they repeatedly raped, sodomized, and forced the victim to... Or- orally copulate? I don't know that word. I don't know that I... Uh, but yeah, guy's a psycho, and... Fuck this guy. Yeah, he's a terrible man. Where do you, Where do you stand on, like... Um, aggressive sexual predators or like sexual like recidivists like getting castrated as oh, a result of their crime. I thought you were asking me where I stand on that. I'm, I was going to go guess. Guess where I stand on <laughs> violent saying, sexual Because like, I, I, I don't people. remember if it... I forgot. You want to just cut their cocks off? Like, not necessarily. Not balls. even. Not, not even balls? necessarily. Not even necessarily cut it. Like they have like forms of chemical castration and shit like that. I, th- I think... Wait, so you're saying the eye for the eye kind of thing. So it's like... If you steal, we cut your hand off. That well, that's what a lot of the U.S. penal like system is built on is Hammurabi's code. That's what it's called, eye for an eye. Hammurabi. Hammurabi. Ham. I think it's ham. I think it's ham. ham. Not ham. Although ham is very nice. Ham. Hammurabi. Hammurabi. It's from Egypt. Yeah, yeah. Ham is ham is pretty good meat. It's a little sweaty. Not my favorite. It's not. It's yeah. It's definitely not bologna. Looking, bologna's, bologna's bad. Bologna. It's not bad tasting. It's just bad. Like, look at it. It looks uh, like a. Well, yeah. When when you see a, just a big pink blob in the fucking deli aisle. Not only that, but if I have problems. to if I have to peel the edges off of a meat. Can we agree? First of all, you don't need to. Second of all, can but, we? But can we agree that the worst looking one? Three, two, one. Olive loaf. But, yeah, I've never even like really. Me seen neither. That. Becca, That's not. Is that a meat? That's not a meat. It is. A, it's a meat with olives in it. It's bologna with olives. And Becca said to me, she's like, "You love bologna. You love olives. Why don't you just have?" Olive loaf, and I was like, it looks like a med's back. That's why I'll never have it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'll never fucking have it. Yeah, but I also like love. I love chocolate, and I love vagina, mm. but I'm not shoving chocolate in a vagina. Although now that I said that, yeah, Joe, you might have just fucking fell on a. That something sounds there. pretty fucking dope. You might have probably on not it. for her though. She'd probably have well, some. You never know. You never know. Yeah, but I'm talking about UTIs. I'm talking uh, about. Oh, apparently the vagina is like a fucking like self cleaning wizard. You know, apparently it is. You son of a bitch. But I don't think you could fight off infections. It doesn't have infection fighting. I mean, if it's like a dog's mouth, it can do whatever it wants, right? Oh, dogs, dogs can do- eat shit and use condoms, and they fucking they, they breathe life into humans. Like no, I, fine. no, they they get sick. Dogs get sick. No, they don't. My, they get my that dog's one been sick. They get that one cough. Yeah, your dog got sick because it would scratch at its own fucking cut and get an infection. Well, it's an idiot. I'm not talking about that. That's not. I don't con- consider that sick. He had he got he had to bring him to the doctor once because he had too much yeast or some shit. Too much yeast? I don't even. I don't really know. That's not real, Joey. No, it was a thing. The guy said to me, he's like, "Does he had bread?" I was like, "Sometimes I feed him like pizza crust," and he's like, "Well, you know, whoa." Dog, yo, why? Why can't dogs just eat what we eat? These fucking little idiots. I mean, they do. One time, my dog ate like a whole onion, which that, those are poisonous. Really? Yeah. Didn't know that. For dog, yeah, and like I was freaking out, but then my dog like burped and he was fine. My family dog ate a whole sweet potato pie, or a pumpkin pie. It was pumpkin pie. It was on Thanksgiving. She went up and she grabbed it off the table and it was hers. She ate a whole pumpkin the pie. The whole thing. 
I don't like pumpkin pie, so she could have it. Pumpkin pie? It's fucking, let's talk about it. Three, two, one, throw up. Would rather eat a diaper. Yeah. Well, that's basically what it looks like. Yeah. Like Take a- it from someone who's had their hands in diapers a lot over the last couple of weeks. Pumpkin pie is fucking baby shit. Just because you put whipped cream on it doesn't mean it's nice. We serve it at Thanksgiving with the yeah. family. Yeah. Just because it, pumpkin pumpkin is like... Yo, up. old people love pie. Dude, fuck pies, period. Yeah. Pies suck. I've said it once. I'll say it Whack. again. Whack. So bad. Whack. Cake? Dope. Ice cream cake, better. Ice cream cake's cool, but like cake even the- even like red velvet cake. That's good. Fucking birthday cake, funfetti cake. Fun I, will, I will go to jail fun, for fun a funfetti, funfetti cake. Fun, yeah, funfetti. Dude, I will hit a. I will punch a bird in its face for funfetti cake. What kind of bird though? To, any a, so, a pigeon. Something endangered. So I'll hit a fucking eagle right now. For, right now. In America's face. Right in America's face. Right, you know what I'm saying? For a cake. A bald eagle for a cake. You know what's a shady good cake that a lot of people forget about? Pound cake. Yo, pound cake's fire! Dude. What is that shit on top? It's like butter? I don't know. It's like butter and sugar know. and fucking ice. I don't ice. know. I don't know. But I pound cake with a scoop of fucking vanilla ice cream. Don't even... Yo. Put me in the ground and fucking stuff my bitch ass face with it. Seriously. Yo, yo, when I die, shove a fucking pound cake in my ass. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dude. I want to be taxidermied. With cake. And just fill me with pound cake. Oh, just give me boobs then, huh? Well, I did this by accident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, we okay. Uh, we're gonna have to do this on Patreon. The best. Type What's the of worst cake? pie you've ever had? One, two, three, cherry pie. I first of all, <laughs> good song by Warrant. Second of all, yes. Um, I don't like any pie. I don't like cooked fruit, so all pie can go fuck itself. Cherry pie is one of the worst things I've ever had in my entire life. No, I'll tell you what, blueberry pie, that's good. I've never had it. It's Apple good. pie looks disgusting. Apple pie is gross. It's fucking. Lo- you're you're eating slugs basically. What is this shit? Yeah. And these people that get like cute with the fucking stuff on top where they make like little like lattices out of the fucking dough. Like you have too much time. With yeah. Your what do you think? You're Snow White? Fuck off. Yeah. Listen, Martha Stewart, go fuck yourself. Yeah. F- it's still an apple pie. It still yeah. sucks. But yeah, all pie sucks. It sucks. I'll take cake over pie any day. I will tell you what is the supreme in desserts though. Puddings. A good old vanilla pudding. Pudding? What are you, a thousand? Yeah. You a thousand old? in terms of my fucking wisdom at this point in time. Yeah. Puddings? What, like chocolate pudding? Tell me a snack pack vanilla pudding isn't the greatest. Yeah, when you're fucking four. Tell me right now you wouldn't want one. I'll eat it. Yeah. But not over a Funfetti cake with vanilla icing and like my name written in that fucking cool See, this shit. See, this is the reason why I'm not, I'm not with you on this one. Because cake, you need a glass of milk with it or else it's like you're, it's too rich. It's too much. It's... <sighs> Like, you can't. You need a fucking... You need milk with it. Pudding on its own? Bing, bang, boom. You fucking throw that bitch back. Yeah, but... No. I can eat a whole cake. Also, I don't I don't drink milk. You need to have some sort of beverage, I will say that. I don't know what I drink. You need milk. Yeah, I mean, milk would be nice. You need milk. You need milk. <laughs> but... Where do you feel about, like, how these people, like, lose their mind over, like, Italian pastries? People love a cannoli, dude. Just stop being a pretentious asshole with this cannoli bullshit. Cannoli- also, yo... Creme brulee? Fuck you. Where are we? France? Yeah, yeah. What Listen are we up. talking about? Listen up, fucking ratatouille. Put it down and go get a fucking cookie, okay? Wee oui, wee. Oui. All right? Wee oui, wee oui want an ice cream cake instead of this creme brulee. Everyone gets a creme brulee just so they can smack their spoon on the top of it and go, wow, look, it's glass. You know what girls love? You go to a restaurant, anything that you can set on fire. Yeah. They love that. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, it's an ice cream? Let me get my phone out. And then the guy comes over and he sets the dessert on fire and then it becomes a different dessert. And yeah. it's like, oh, girls love that shit. Girls love that shit. I, they love I, it. I, I, I love that shit too. I, I like the drinks that are like that. I like that I'll tell though. you that. I'm kinda... oh, if someone sets my dessert, if my plate is on fire, I'm eating I'm it. eating that. Yeah, I'm, I'm eating the whole thing. <laughs> I'm never going to lie. I'm eating the whole thing. I'll tell you, but uh, you ever had a drink that came on fire? I would go, when I was in college, we'd go to a hibachi restaurant. We'd get a scorpion bowl. And in the middle, it was a, uh, uh, what's scorpion? it? Scorpion? It's called a scorpion bowl. Did they serve you scorpion? No, sadly. In the middle was fucking Bacardi 151. That shit came on fire, baby. You blow it out, you suck it up. You ever done a flaming shot? No, that's dangerous. Oh, I know. I'm not doing that. I know a kid that burnt half his face. So that's why I'm not going to do it. It's funny. I, it, it, for, yeah, for us. For not for him. No, yeah, he's hurt. I'm not going to set anything on fire. I've never had a flaming shot because I'm afraid of fire. We'll just be near water. Well, if it burns my face, it's not going to matter. How quick? It's not going to burn that bad. It's just a little bit. You never know. Well, you're not fucking putting gasoline in there. You're just a little Bacardi 151. Yeah, but it's a lot of alcohol. We, I honestly want someone to draw a map from where we started with this episode to where <laughs> we have gotten. I don't know what we're even talking about. We were talking about your birthday. Yeah, but, not, but we're cakes. Cakes and pastries. Cakes. Yeah, you know, we got there. We Dessert. got there eventually. Or a Dell. Dude. Dell. Becca's dad loves 
Schwedel. He told me. He's like, go get it. And I got it from It's actually not bad. But like, How do you say it? How did you order it? Zvoyadel. You didn't say that. Zvoyadel. What'd you say, though? Zvoyadel. You said Zvoyadel. That's how it's. I think it's pronounced. Zvoyadel? I like, had to Google it one day. You're like, let me get some Zvoyadel. Zvoyadel. Zvoyadel? Yeah, I don't know. It's just like pastry. Did you guys, Did you ever get the pastry? My dad would get it. I, I know they have it in different cultures. It's like a fucking... Like, it's like a white cream, but it's hard. And my dad would get it, and he'd go, thanks. Put it in a bag and fucking beat the shit out of this bag. What the fuck are you Dude, talking Dude, I don't about? know what it's called. I think it's called like a patele or something like that. <laughs> but he would put it in a bag and fucking bang, bang, bang. And then there would be crumbs and he would eat it. I don't know what it is. I wish I'm, I, I'd call my dad right now, but Lord, who knows what he would say. Wow. That sounds nice. Yeah. You, I used to be so horny for croissants too. I like croissants. A good, cro- I, a, I a like good croissant. I, I do a croissant. No, croissant. Croissant. I used to be very horny for them. I still like them, but I, at one point, I was like, I need to get my hands on this now. That's my go-to Starbucks order. It's a venti black unsweetened iced tea and a, and a toasted croissant. And they're fucking cake pops. Have you ever had cake pops? I don't like cake pops. You're what we in the business call a stupid idiot. No, they're what we call in the in the business of being intelligent too dry. Dry? dry? They're dry. What are you eat? You're not eating a cake pop then. You're not. You're eating a fucking the worst cake pop. A no, real cake dry. pop is not dry. It's dry. No, it's cake. I only eat them at like weddings. Listen, like people love, love having cake pops at love, weddings. Yeah, people love that shit. What is that? It's it's cake crumbled up with fucking frosting mixed into it, so it comes out like a moist ball. It's like plain on. Play-Doh? Plain on. Oh, I wasn't sure if you were saying something like Spanish. No. <laughs> it's like plain on. No. Like, oh, okay. oh, dude, a good cake pop is fucking boobs. I don't like. <laughs> it is. It's so good, dude. You know what my mom made the other day? What did your mom make? Boobs? Pigs in a blanket. Oh! <laughs> yeah. I fucking go hard for the good old piggies. Dude. A piggy in a blanket, oh. cozied up, in a- dipped into a fucking big old cup of ketchup. Catchy. Oh! Yeah. Man, so good. So good. We actually did one of the episodes that we did on Patreon. We argued... Uh, uh, appetizers. That's right. And you didn't give enough respect to piggies. That's not true. You didn't give the respect that they deserve. I have all the respect in the world for a pig in a blanket. Um, also, why do they call it? Oh, never mind. I got it. You got. I was like, why do they call it that? But it's a, it's made of pig. It's sometimes. Sometimes it's cigarettes. Sometimes it's pork. Sometimes it's cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. And like, then it's in a blanket of croissant. Yeah. Of a <sighs> crescent roll. God, it's so good. I crush those, by the way. Crescent rolls, I don't care for much. You idiot. These people that do like dinner biscuits and crescent rolls. Yeah. Put them to sleep. Are you insane? No, I'm not. I'm quite sane in my in in my intellect. That's one of my favorite parts of Thanksgiving. The the crescent rolls are one of your favorite parts of Thanksgiving, <laughs> Joey. What is wrong with you? What is fucking wrong with you? No, it is. Why? Why would that ever be on the even the top five? I didn't say it was... Number one, obviously, stuffing. Number two, ham. Number well, no, three... No, no, no. Number two is not ham. It's ham. No, one is ham. No. Two is stuffing. No, three no. Is, three is the uh, the sweet potato marshmallow... Disgusting. <laughs> sweet potato, the fucking candied yams? Disgusting. You don't like sweet potato and marshmallows? Let me just... You don't like that? No. You fucking bitch! <laughs> How do you not like that? Because it's too much sweetness. It's a lot of sweetness. And people put fucking maple syrup in there. They put fucking... <laughs> Is that pancakes? <laughs> That's what people do. They put brown sugar. What people? They put, the they people put, you know. They put, they put brown <laughs> sugar. <laughs> they put maple <laughs> syrup. They put fucking the, uh, the little baby... Uh, Frankie, this isn't Elf. This isn't... This what? is what they do, no, Joey. Buddy the elf. This is what they do. And it's fucking too who much. Who is they? The it's people you much. know. The people I know. It's just... Sweet potatoes and marshmallows and you fucking No, just... people put maple syrup. They put cinnamon. They put fucking Cinnamon's brown sugar. Nice. Cinnamon's nice. I like cinnamon as a, nice. as a garnish, but I don't like it. That's too much sweetness. You're basically like... It, like, if that's how I fucking look nothing after I has, bite... Nothing has ever made me do that. That has ever... Yes, it has. Besides, you remember... Yo. Remember... Oh, yo. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you remember? This is so is dumb. It, can I ask you what what you're gonna say? If we're on the right page right now, you have to give me a thousand dollars cash. Okay, go. Is it when we would take the sour spray and pour it into a cup and drink it? No, but that was that's a good. Answer. Do you remember that? That stuff is sour. But what I used to do is like my, we used to make iced tea. Remember mm. with the powder? Oh my god! And you'd overpowder it. 
Yeah. Yeah. You don't like powder it. My mom also wouldn't put enough powder in it because she was like, thought she was like saving It's brown us. water at that point. Yeah. Yeah. But so I would just. Oh, yeah. My Yo, dad. Keith made it? Dude, my dad used to make it. And I'd go, dad, how do you make it? And he goes, you put half the thing in it. And I'm like, dad, this is why you're. Hello, it's me, Frank Alvarez. I'm ready to be close to death. <laughs> My dad fucking eats like shit, and that's part of the reason. My dad would put half the fucking thing in there. I don't even know if that's possible. Oh, it was. Keith, Keith, I was going to say Keith Alvarez, Keith Santagata. Yeah. Keith Santagata used to put like 15 scoops of this thing Ooh. in there, and then mix it up with a big uh, wooden ladle, and then we'd drink it, and then be bouncing off the walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that Keith doesn't have diabetes yet is, honestly, his body needs to be donated to science, <laughs> because mm. I, I kid you not, we know people that like sugar. I'm sure you guys know people that like sugar. No one, no one, no one, no one. Give me a wave of what I'm feeling. We don't, we don't know. If we That's got Alicia, that, right? isn't it? It is Alicia. I like Alicia. Mrs. Keys, as they say, not a real name. I know. What's her real name? She's married to Swiss Beats. Mrs. Beats. Mrs. Beats. Mrs. Swiss. Alicia Beats. Alicia Swiss. She went from Keys to Beats. Damn, she's kind of she's kind of crushing it. That's a musical woman. Yeah. What's next? I just farted. I'm gonna do the ads. What a transition, baby. Let's get to these ads. I also have to piss hard. I also know exactly what you're thinking. I'm not cleaning any of this. That's fine. I'll clean it. No, All you'll right. throw you'll throw it out and buy new ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, first thing up we have here is Keeps. Uh, Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor, doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You never have to leave your home. Uh, it's low cost. Treatments only cost about $10 per month, and Keeps uh, offers generic versions. Uh, the facts are two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they are 35. Uh, more than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness, so this is a good thing. If anyone out there, I'm sure there is someone watching this who is dealing with this, and if you want to have some prevention, um, because prevention is key, you can try it out. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast. Um, if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash yard, spelled K-E-E-P-S dot com slash yard to get your first month of treatment for free. Uh, that's keeps K E E P S dot com slash yard to get your first month free. Uh, one more time K E E P S dot com slash yard. All right. So go check that out. Uh, next here we have honey, which is a free online browser that you attach to your, uh, your browser. So when you're shopping online on whatever store, it will, uh, automatically apply promo codes to your cart and save you money. Um, it is amazing. It is free. It has over 17 million members uh, who have they've saved them over two billion dollars in savings. It really works like a charm. You're doing any sort of online shopping, which a lot of us are, especially right now during a pandemic, um, and it automatically applies the coupons. All you have to do, is, like, thing drops down, you hit apply coupon, and you save money. It's amazing. Um, I have saved money multiple times because of my Honey uh, extension. So. And it's also free. So it's you, all you have to do is install in a few seconds. And by getting it, you can go to joinhoney.com slash basement, joinhoney.com slash basement. Uh, again, like I'm saying, it's free uh, and it will save you money when you're shopping online. So just go to joinhoney.com slash basement to get it for free. All right. And uh, lastly here, we have Headspace, uh, which is your daily dose of mindfulness in the form of guided meditations in an easy to use app. I used to use Headspace a lot. Back in the day, um, it is great. They have guided meditations with people, and if it's something that you want to do either before you go to bed or, or first thing in the morning, I definitely recommend um, meditation. It helps with like sleep and focus, and just makes you feel overall better. Honestly, it also like gave me like a jolt of energy, and I could tell. Um, but yeah, so go check out uh, Headspace. It's backed by 25 published studies on its benefits, 600,000 five-star reviews, and over 60 million downloads. Like people are going crazy for this. Um, so you deserve to feel happier and Headspace is a meditation made simple. Uh, go to headspace.com slash basement. That's headspace.com slash basement for a free month trial with access to Headspace's full library of meditations for every situation. Uh, this is the best deal offered right now. Head to headspace.com slash basement today. All right. There you go. That was good. You're getting good at these. Yeah. You know. I wish we would get plugs for fucking... Casamigos, they can just send a whole bunch of free tequila. 
I really have been thinking about making a, a whiskey or a tequila. Or, well, I don't want to make tequila now because Kendall Jenner's getting, you know, she's yeah, getting, yeah, she's gonna control the market. But I have, I have, I have a Spanish. Why not beer? Why haven't you thought about beer? Well, that too. Because I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know that. Dude, what would you call the whiskey? Honestly, three, two, one, go. I don't. What do you think? That's how I come up with stuff? Yeah, of course it is. I don't know. <laughs> That's how you came up with the name Pay the Price. No, it's not. Which you can check out at kickstarter.paytheprice.com. Pay the Price game. Damn. Idiot. So, so close. You bastard. So close. Give me, give me, my, give me my, my spanks. Oh, spank your bottom? Yeah, well, spank my ass. Oh, okay. Would you? I'd spank your ass. On your birthday? Yeah. I'll give you a gift. Nice little spankerino. You know what I mean? I want to make a whiskey, though. That was a good stretch. <laughs> Let's make a whiskey. Yeah. I'll start doing the research. Yeah. Because I know. <laughs> I wonder. I like. I. I would love to do that and just have like a, just just like Santa Gato brand whiskey. No, I don't want to call it Santa Gato. No, well, yeah, because no one would buy that. Well, it's also like an Italian name. Yeah. Well, then. The oh, Italian- try this Italian whiskey. I'd be like I'm good. It, yeah. No. 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 Thanks. Uh, we could call it the bait. The uh. What's the name of the most an Irish thing so people think it's like legit? McLarkling McLeprechaun. How do you spell that? <laughs> Oi, drink our new whiskey, McLargan McLeck Leprechaun. <laughs> that would be good. That's actually kind of better than Proper 12. What a name. Proper 12. Did you see that commercial where he's like, he's saying they're going to give back the money to the first responders? What money? Uh, he's like, for every bottle of uh, Proper 12 we sell, we're given $100 back or something like that. And it was like, it's just, I hate my biggest thing that I really don't like. When people want to do kind, awesome. But when they like prepare a statement for it, and it's it it seems like not, disingenuous to me. What do you mean? Like for instance, if I'm like, "Hey guys, it's me Frank, and I'm letting you know, um, we want to give back to the people of this nation." Like it just it, it, to me, I kind of don't. I I don't know why I don't like that. I think it seems disingenuous. What would be the alternative? Just like, yo, <laughs> you're gonna do the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, no, but like, or at least get better at reading it. You know what I mean? Like, just don't make it seem like you're reading it. I guess. I, I I guess I'm being a little nitpicky here. You are a little bit. I've been known to nitpick. I hate when people have donation campaigns. I wish they would just. I wish they would just do it off the cuff. I, dude, I went to college with someone who started a GoFundMe to, for her to like go to Africa just to go, and it was uh, like a trip. Yeah, it was like help so and so live their dream and go to Africa, and and GoFundMe like took it down within like a day. I, yeah, I don't think that's what the platform's for. Yeah, it's supposed to be for, like, fucking, like, philanthropic or, or some sort of... Yeah, not your fucking trip to Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, help me pay for my medical bills. Don't fucking help you go get drunk in, you know, Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. That actually sounds amazing. Imagine getting drunk in Egypt. I'd love to go. I really would. Yeah. I really would like to go. I'm not really, like, in, invo- like in, interested in getting on a plane anytime so, soon. So, all right. So, what can we call this, this, this whiskey? So, well, think of the whiskeys that we like. What are they called? Uh, you know, I, Jameson, but that's a name. Uh, you know, Barrel. I'm really big into the Japanese whiskey now. Yeah, Suntory. So, um, Santa Gatoki. I, that sounds like a lawsuit. Why? It also sounds racially insane. I'm a white man. You're right. So call it what, call it what you know. It would have to be named Privilege. Something- <laughs> <laughs> call, just call it what you know. Just call it what you fucking know. It's all right. I'm not judging you for it. Oh, God. That's funny. I'm not judging you for it. Can you imagine that? Try. <laughs> try, try go buy my my whiskey from Joe Santagato called Privilege. It'd be great to have it. Oh, man. It'd be great. <laughs> now everyone can be privileged. <laughs> now everyone can be privileged. If only it was as simple as buying a bottle. Oh, God. If you really start this, just, re- like, just like, let me in on the planning. Of what? Like, you know, stuff. Gotcha. So when you inevitably make $40 million off of it, I can have like a third. Gotcha. A third? That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. All right. I'll take a sixth. Still, Still too high. high. Still, Still too high. high. All right. A tenth? I'm getting warmer. <laughs> you okay. I'm getting warmer. All right. No, yeah. A fifteenth. We'll talk. Okay. Okay. That's two million. You did that math pretty well. Uh, I'm shocked I did. I'm just as shocked as you are. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, Joey, did you see the video of the people on the plane? That's why I said before, I was like, I'm not really interested in getting on a plane right now because of the video of the people with the blown engine. Did you see that shit? Yeah, I don't know how I'd react uh, if I'm on a plane and the engine's just on fire. That's when it's, you know, DEFCON 8, like, everything is going to shit. Like, even if they were like, we're going to land comfortably, don't worry. I'm like, no, we're all dying. I'll be honest with you. One of the first things I thought about when I saw that video is because the guy was, like, filming the engine. Mm -hmm. And people were, like, standing up. <laughs> By the way, how about that, right? I can't – I've almost pissed myself on planes multiple times because the guy tells me I can't get up as, like, we're about to take off. And we haven't even backed out of the – Really? Yet. Yeah, mad times. He was – the last time I was going to Miami, I think, or I was going to Utah or some shit, the guy was like, I was like, yo, I have to, I'm, I, like, I tried to go to the bathroom. He's like, you have to go sit down. I was like, we haven't even backed up yet. He's like, yeah, but we're about to. And I was like, dude, I have to go really bad. Like, it's an emergency. And he's like, if you go, then we're going to have to taxi back to the plane. We, taxi back nowhere. We haven't moved. I was like, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to be here and you're going to ruin the flight. And I was like, and I just went back to my seat and then I almost pissed myself because I had to wait. My, my penis was all backed up. Is that what happens? Yeah. When do you, you hold, a, do you pinch your pee pee when you when you have to pee? No. You don't do a pinch. No, because then if I let go of the pinch, it's going everywhere. There's a rush. Yeah, it's going everywhere. It's kind of like a hose. Like you pinch it and then you open it, it's like whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I don't pinch. <laughs> I just like hold within. Really? Yeah, dude. Wow, you got better bladder control than I do. Why? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, that was a real test. I would uh, like that's the thing is I can't tell you how many times I like threaten people when I have to use the bathroom anywhere I am. Like I'll go into like a store. And I'd be like, hey, you know, we're, you know, like, a, like Starbucks, they don't have it anymore, but they used to have codes for their bathrooms. I'd be like, hey, can I use the bathroom? They're like, oh, no, sorry. You know, it's only for, you know, customers. And instead of buying something cheap, I would be like, listen up. I, this is an emergency. Yeah. I need to go now or there's going to be a disaster. And then they're like, all right, go ahead. <laughs> you just got to <laughs> give them an ultimatum. You just got to threaten them a little one bit. One time I had to shit so bad in my car. And this is actually one of the first, like... Me and Greg was with me, but he I was not really friends with Greg like that. Gotcha. He just was someone who also lives in Astoria. And we were playing. It was like a work league. And he was in my car, and we were in the middle lane in Manhattan. And I had to shit so bad. And I was like, oh and I had to shit. So I just put my – there was a red light. Everyone was stopped. I put my car in park, and I looked at him. I was like, you got it. And I left. <laughs> and I had to weave past cars, and then I ran into a building, and I was like, I have to shit. I didn't say that. I was like, do you guys have a bathroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy looked at me and he was like, yeah, it's over there. You got to, yeah, you got to, you got to play up like the distress of the situation. When I walked into this bathroom, there was a cleaning lady in it and I was like, get out. Out. Get out now. now! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I fucking set it off. And when I came out, my car was still right there. Wow. So he never moved the car. You, you just, you, in the middle lane? Middle lane. Yo, <laughs> what? Left it. Left it. That's crazy. On a plane, I feel like, you playing you shitting got, yourself on a plane? Yeah, you're in big trouble. Props. You're in big trouble. Big props. You're in big trouble if that happens. I wonder if they have spare pants on planes. I mean, normally, people shit themselves on planes. They have to. I'm sure it happens. I mean, normally I assume that you would, if you had a carry on or something, you'd have some sort of pants in there. And what am I supposed to, Tom Cruise, go below the 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 floor and get my pants? Oh, the they're the above overhead, you, you overhead. idiot. Well, I've meant checked bags. Oh no. Why can't we do that? That would be interesting. Like, why just, just let me into the I'm cargo. sure you can. I've seen enough movies where people, like, sneak below deck, they have sex with a woman, and then they fight crime. What fucking movies are you are you talking about? You know, movies about superheroes. Uh, not super, that that not doesn't super, happen in those. Not superhero movies. I, I meant, like, action movies. Are, are, you, part, part, are, are you a part of the Mile High Club? Sex on a plane? Yeah. I've never even been first class <laughs> in my life. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm saying, who, who am I fucking in coach? <laughs> Like where are we at, where are we doing that? Yeah, I don't know. Is that like where it's supposed to be in first class? I would never have sex on a public plane like that. Why Maybe not? on a private plane. On a pri well, private plane. Private right. plane. I think you have to. You I have that's to. Like, that's yeah. like you, you, one of like the boxes you, you need. You have to, to check pay the money and then you have to fuck. Fuck on the plane. Yeah. 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 The rock. That's what the rock does. He walks on. He's like ah. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 yeah, mamoa. Yeah, he works out on the plane and then he fucks the Iron Paradise in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's what he does. Wow. Dude, he is fucking huge. Yeah, he's a massive man. But back to this plane being on fire. I would fucking... It'd be over. Like, I'm the type of person, like, in a situation like that, it's everyone's like, stay calm. It's like, no, let's be very realistic. We're all dead. The thing that was interesting was that they were filming the engine, and then they kind of panned towards the people in the plane. And, like, there was people standing. 
if there's any a point for the seatbelt light to be on, yeah. it'd probably be on when the engine is on fire. <laughs> but people are just like, and no one was screaming. I'd be screaming loudly. Top of my fucking lungs. And I'm not I'd be kidding. calling everyone on my phones. I'd be like, yo, just you know I'm dying. Yeah. and like, Right now. Just doing things I've never done before. Like, you know, hit a woman. Oh. Wow, Joe, you're just really, you're just really so going funny. for it. Can you imagine like, oh, oh I just punch this lady yeah, next I to I mean, me. when you're on a plane, if you know, like, that's the thing is, if I'm in that situation, I th- believe I'm going to be dead in a mere matter of seconds. So just Let it do all out. everything and anything you Get can. Get naked, take your socks off. Get fucking naked. Run down the hall. Everywhere. Piss on, piss on everyone. That's probably my first thought is I need to piss. Just at that point, like, everyone come hang out in the cockpit. Like, we're going to die anyways. Who wants to fucking steer us into the ground? <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's like, you might as well. We got rock, paper, scissor for who's going to do it. Yeah, all you need to do is just pull down, you know? Or pull... Yeah, you push down. I think pulling up is how they, like... Yeah, they pull up, and then you push down. Yeah, pull down. No, that's push. Down. Yeah. You said pull down. You don't pull uh, down. No, you push down. Yeah, you push down. Yeah, that's what I said. You said pull down. I did not say pull down. Run the tape. Run the tape, Josh. Tell him. Yeah, it's run the tape. He pulled down. You pulled down. You pushed. You pushed down. I pushed down. That's what you do. That's what I said. Well, you know. Yes, I did. You've never flipped in a flipped in a plane. Flipping. I've never. <laughs> you flipped in a plane. I've never flipped in a plane either. Exactly. In Grand Theft Auto, I did once. Yeah, well, that's everyone does that in Grand Theft Auto. Five stars, Grand Theft Auto Five. Go to the airport. Got to get a on a plane. Steal a plane, baby. And then they send jets on you. Oh, they do. If you get a jet, though, game over. Well, well listen. You know, it's all. What I would do is I would just. I would set myself up in the tank, and then I would put the tank in front of where the planes take off. So when I take off, the other planes can't follow me. Schmott. Yeah, I am very smart. Grand Theft Auto is a good game, but it's kind of wild how my parents let me play that. Did you remember, um, you had Grand Theft Auto 3, and I would go to your place to play it. And I remember, like, we were in the living room, and I was like, kill that hooker! And your parents were like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, your parents, uh, like, I was the bad influence. Yeah. Little did they know. That kind of switched around. Little did they. Well, no, you're not a bad influence. What? I'll kill you. Oh. (laughs) You're not a bad influence, though. I don't think you've ever influenced me to do something stupid. Let's go do math right now. That's that's you. I influenced you. Yeah. Well, it's all about, you know, you know the power you have over me now. You know, like, that's the thing about you that's smart. You know the power you have over me. You just choose not to use it. That's fucking power. But like I could I could right now be like, yo, put your asshole on the table. Yep. And it would it would happen for the right price. That's the thing. Pay the price. Pay the price, baby. But you can get it. Kickstarter to pay the price Dude, that's Three in a three in a three in a single episode. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. I don't know how these people were so fucking calm in that plane. And that's terrifying. I do know though, in the back of my mind, like I have heard it before, um, that planes can fly Still safely with one engine blown. I don't know about that. I think like it did. I think if if we were going down over water, I like there's got to be a way to jump out at the right time and like hit the water in the right way so you don't die. You know what I mean? Like you know how they say like halo jump, like high altitude, low opening. What the fuck did you just say? I'm saying play. All right, plane's going down, right? No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. You think a plane going down yeah. over the ocean, yeah. as that's happening, yeah. you kick the door open, yeah. and you just swan dive I'm saying, out. Like, no, no, no. Not swan dive, first of all. Second of all, I'm saying, like, listen, all right, so say this is the water right here, right? Okay? Plane is right here. I'm saying if we're, like, a couple feet off of the water, I if I time it correctly, I might be able to jump out enough and land at a certain, like, way. Like, you know, like, going down, like, you know, where my feet hit first and I survive. I think I can. Two things. Yes. One, no. I th- I don't know. I think I can. Two, let's say that happens mm-hmm. and it's a Batman movie. <laughs> let's just say that. Yes. I don't know if you've considered the fact that you are now in the ocean. Yeah, that's the part that would fuck me up. <laughs> that's the part. You're I, in the ocean. I might as well die. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather be I'd, I'd rather be at dead. the bottom Hanging out with the Titanic. I'd rather it be super quick. You know what I mean? Like fucking fiery ablaze like comes and takes me and knocks me out than like be alive in the middle of the ocean because then you're just chum, baby. You know what I would love though? What? You ever see in those movies where like a plane crashes and then there's like 
oil, but then like a fire ring around it. I would love to be in the center yeah, of a fire yeah, ring yeah, in yeah. a pool. That like, would yo, be cool. If I had a big enough pool one day, I would put oil in You'd it. You'd start a fire in your pool. And I would be in the center of a fire ring. Yeah, that would be cool. I'm with you on that one. Isn't that dope? I always was like, I was like, I remember as a kid, I was like, how the fuck does that happen? How's that dangerous? You can't just swim under this? You, you can. You just go underneath. Exactly. But if you come up in the oil. Well, now we got an issue. You're on fire, baby. But that's why you you, you you stay underneath, like in the middle, like, you know, like Bioshock. Did you play that game? Yeah. You start in the, in the fucking, you just swim through it, you know? And you can just grab like a wing and like use that as like a, you know, something to, like a flotation device. That'd be cool. Get a pool so we could do that. Okay. How about you get a pool? You got the backyard. Uh, I don't want a pool. I have kids. Put a fence around it. No. You think kids can't get over a fence, Joey? What kids do you have? What, who are you listen raising? You Koalas? Said, listen. Well, yeah. Kids fucking climb everything and find their ways in and out of everything. Everything, Joey. Everything. You don't have kids. You don't know it. <laughs> you don't fucking know it. You, but like. Go. 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 Make your kids lock the door of the fence. God, yeah. That's what I'll say. Hey, don't go in the pool. Don't be a fucking absolute cool badass and fucking defy your fucking parent. Because you'll die. Add that part at the end. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Did that stop us? I didn't jump into pools. You jumped off of... that. Yeah, that's true. I jumped off of the deck into my pool. There you go. Yeah. You could have died that way. It's true. You could have. And your pool was fucking tiny. Yeah. Your pool was what? Four, like five feet across? It was... Yeah, something like... Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I like think that. it was more than that. No, it was. It was, like, it was like... It was like... I think it was like eight feet. It was feet. a little bit longer than my wingspan. Yeah, which is probably like... Well, your wingspan is your height. So you're what? 5'10"? Yeah. Yeah, so 5'10". So it was probably... Yeah, I would like say... Like six and a half feet, six maybe? Six and a half feet, yeah. But you don't get it, man. Yeah. You don't get it. That's something that we like thought about. When Beck and I were looking for houses, we saw a couple that had pools in the back. And first of all, one, above above ground, then make it both, high. Both doesn't matter. Take the ladder off. How are they getting in, dude? I can't even get into a pool like you, that. Yes, you can. I can. I can. I can. You don't realize it. <laughs> kids can fucking like. It's just another thing to worry about. You can't put the kids in the background and say, "Fucking shut up and leave me alone, go play and have fun." All right, well, tell your fucking kids to hurry up and get old so you can get a pool. I don't want a pool. You idiot. Because then I need to take care of it. How hard is that? Taking care of a pool? It ain't easy. And you know how much it is to put a pool in? It's like a fucking like eighty thousand dollar job. Okay, that's a little insane. It's like thirty five. Dude, dude, what? I, it is because I, I know Thomas is looking into it. It's like really? The, it's not eighty. Eighty? Well, it depends on the size. Yeah, also, oh, also, what are you trying to get a fucking if lazy I'm, river? If, if I'm getting a pool, I'm getting a pool, Joey. Skip slide and everything. Skip with a lazy river. Rock slide. I want it all. If I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Good. You want a rock slide? Oh, if I'm gonna what do is this, it. Orlando, Florida. Oh, yeah, that would be fucking awesome. Tell me it wouldn't. That'd be great. Yeah. I can't wait to see the type of house you buy when you eventually buy one. I actually like had thought about like, where do I want to live? And I don't even know. You wouldn't if you want a pool like a nice big one. You wouldn't be able to live in Queens anymore. Well, I'm not gonna live in Queens. Well, if I would live in Queens, in Jersey. It, oh no. Well, actually, I I haven't like ruled that out of being like like very north. Why? Why north? Come to South. I'll go to South Jersey. Why not? Go to South Jersey. Because you're from it's no. Why? Where? Where? Well, go ahead. All we need is each other. That's not true. Yeah, it is. For you. For. <laughs> wow. All we need is each other. Wow. Oh, we're going to have this conversation again where you tell me yeah. I need to be with you 24-7. Well, not 24-7, but like 22-6, you 22, know? 22-6, yeah. I get that would be off. really nice. Yeah. Um, But you just come, come on down. You got a no. lot of more. Sp do you, uh, legitimately, yo, like look at the house that Beck and I were able to buy and we have no money. <laughs> no money. Like, you do well for yourself. You've established this empire that you use to, you know, violate people's personal and professional, you know, rights. Yes, and employ... Employ... La Latin, Latin, Latino men? Latinx. Latinx? Latinx. Yo, for, for like a good price, you would be able to live like a fucking wild king. Yeah, but I don't want a giant house. I just want like a cool yard, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can and get I want that. I want a summer house too. Like you I'll sack North Jersey. Yo, you don't realize North Jersey is basically New York. It's the same prices. All right, but you, there's more space there. That's the point. There's more space, but it's going away. By the time you're ready to buy a house, you're gonna be what? You're 29 today. You're gonna be like fucking 58. <laughs> 58. I didn't even realize. I used to 29 times two. Fucking genius. God, the kid is so good. The kid is so good. Okay. You want more? No. Is there more in there? 
I don't know why that's how I figured it out. I don't know if it's just the ice melted or... I think there is. Here, have some more. I don't. Have one more. It's your birthday. I'm not. It's your birthday. Here you go. Okay. It's your birthday. There you go. Go for it. I don't want this. Just take it. Just take it. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Oh, look. You're, you're, you're pressuring me. Did it work? No. God damn it. I'm not doing this. I can't do it because I'm driving and I have a child. That's right. You do. But yeah, I thought about it. I don't know. I, I would rather have like a summer home or like a second home. Both don't have to be like extravagant, just as long as like one's like in a Florida like place where it's like hot. And oh, go really? For the winter. Yeah. First of all, don't ever fucking move to Florida because it's no, all I'm not going to live in Florida. Swamp people and racists. <laughs> swamp people. No, I like, but like a a warm weather house, like uh, or like Texas or something. Texas, yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Everyone's moving to Texas, even though, yeah. Got a little cold down there. Yeah, a little bit. Not typical, but it happens. Feel bad, you know. If you guys, if there are fucking people that you could support in Texas, please do because it's fucking wild down there. No, yeah, that's uh, that was a bad time down there. But uh, yeah, something like that. I would rather, but I don't want this like big giant mansion with like, you know, whatever. I don't want that. I just feel like Once having a lot of space is just stupid. It, I mean, it could be, but then also the thing that got me is like when you think of that much space, you then need to furnish it. That too. How That's expensive wild. is that? That's like, wild. Like Depending if I have, on how big you go. Think about the people who have like five bedrooms. You That's always, five beds, but, five armoires, yeah, five fucking dressers, dressers and drawers. Mirrors, yeah. lamps. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, it's like, what the fuck You're is probably, this? And would, for what? No one's ever going to, like people could stay there obviously, but like they're usually not going to. Yeah. No, it's it, like I was thinking more along the lines of like people that have, like we saw one house that was fucking awesome, by the way. It just had like fucking wild issues. It had like three living rooms. And it's like, yo, you got to then put three couches, yeah. three TVs, if you want to do TVs in all of them. You know, like that right there is probably like another like 15 grand. Easy. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> I'm serious, man. You don't think about this shit, the fucking expenses that come with it. Oh, man. I want to, I, I, I am, I feel like by next year I would have had bought like property. Oh, really? That quick? Not like a house. Because I, I, that will take me forever to make it. Like decision. a timeshare? Not a timeshare, but just like some sort of like property like that you could eventually flip. Like maybe something in like Miami or something that you could like buy. You want to like buy cool... something in Miami? God damn. How good was the fucking 28th year of your life? What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not in like, not like a fucking, you know, whatever. But I mean, still Miami. But not just, not, not just fucking me. cheap. I'm not saying like collectively with like me and like maybe two other people or one other person. Can I be in on it? If you want. Pay me more. That's not how that works. I think it is. I can give you more money if you give me more money. Right. You know? Yeah. It's fucking the way it goes. Right. It's the way the cookie crumbles, baby. Baby. Yeah. But uh, I want like some summer thing that you could go to and like maybe Airbnb it and like, you know what I mean? Make yeah. some money like that. I mean, on, no joke. You know, it's actually a good fucking, like people do that all the time in like Belmar, you know, like on the Jersey Shore and stuff like that. Yeah, but I would rather do it in a place that like you can make money all year round. Like you go over there, like in the winter, no one's getting that. That's not true. Yes, it is. I mean, to an extent. Okay, you're right. Why is someone renting in Belmore in December? What's it called? Belmore? One more time. Am I wrong? Yes. What did I say? You idiot. You didn't know about that place in Jersey you've never been to? It's Belmore. Belmore? Or Belmore exists. It's in. It's over here somewhere. It's somewhere, yeah. I, think it's, yeah. I think it's in Long Island. Whatever. Seaside, fucking Jersey Shore, whatever the fuck you want to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wildwood. That's down there. Yeah, it's that's down. like an hour and a half south of me. I've been there. I have too, once, and it is. I saw a woman's boob at the pool when I was down there. Kind I was of like, fire? I was like eight years. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it was fucking sick. I went for work. She went for a dive. Titty, titty came out. Yeah, and she was wearing like a one piece. It was the nineties. Oh, how young were you? Oh, it wasn't the nineties. Uh, it might have been. It might have been like nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Uh, all right. I went for work like a year and a half ago. And it's, like, stuck in the 50s. You know how, like, they had, like, that old school, like, signage in the 50s where it's, like, you know, blinking signs. Like, come on, uh, vacancy, you know? like, oh, the, like the, nude the, girls. Yeah. And, and like, it was, like, stuck in the 50s. I was like, yo, this place sucks. Yeah. That place was awful. I would hate to go down there. I'm pretty sure the first day I went in the pool and then I got a fever. Ugh. Yeah, it was cool. 
Ugh. They had a ping pong room, though. That was cool. That's kind of fire. There are places in Jersey that are dry towns. Like, you can't buy alcohol anywhere in the town. Utah's like that. Dude, but they're not dry. Well, they're, but it's because like... they're all fucking Mormons out there. Well. That's why. I guess. The Mormons don't like alcohol or one or all the beers out. All the beers out there were 3%. Isn't that crazy? The White Claws were 3%. The Bud Lights were 3%. Is that high? No, it's low. They're usually 4.2. And White Claws are 5 I don't drink White Claw, so I wouldn't fucking know. Yeah, so it's like, you, to get drunk out there, I mean, they have liquor, but it's hard to, you have to, like, go to a liquor store. Like, they don't have liquor at, like, anything else. Except well, that's how New York is. Liquor is only in liquor yeah, stores. Yeah, now when you think about it, yeah. Beer is only in every other store. Yeah. Jersey, it's the same. Like, Jersey, you can't get beer at a grocery store, but you can get... You know it's a dumb rule where you can't get beer on, like, Sundays or something? That's how fucking, dude, when I was in college, that's how Connecticut... Remember, we'd go to the lake house. Yeah. And it was, like... Past 8 p.m., which I think it still might be on every day. And then Saturdays, it was no alcohol past 5 p.m. And then on Sundays, it was none at all. Doesn't make what? sense. Dude, going out to fucking bars and shit when I was in college was miserable because last call would be like one. It'd be like, all right, last call on a fucking Friday night. It's like, fuck all of you. I want to still drink. Yeah. That's why, man. Jersey, I mean, New York, you can't fucking replace it. Yeah. Last call's at like 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. You don't leave and get to a bar until fucking like 2. Yeah. That's, that's wild. Like, like 11.30, 12. Yeah. Which is wild, man. I mean, you go out in some cities and it's just like you have to go out like super early. Well, it just sucks. If That's legitimately how it was when I was in college. It was like if you weren't out like, by 9, yeah. you're, there was no point. Because then these places, these college bars would get fucking loaded up. It was insane. Did I ever tell you about the time I was at a bar and I got raided? By the co-, co by the by the I was gonna say by the co lease by the co lease baby, uh I was at a bar I was of age at this point in time thank fucking God I don't know why I knocked on wood like I'm gonna go back <laughs> <laughs> thank God it didn't transform into a young and it got raided as we were there and all the like yo there was a lot of underage kids there the uh, the people of age just went and took their drinks <laughs> so yo we, we showed up and we had like fucking. Pitchers on pitchers because all these underage kids were drinking them and they got lined up against the wall and they're fucking each and every single one of them got taken away. That's amazing. It was wild, dude. It was awesome. And I drank like fucking 15 beers. <laughs> yeah. The good old days. The good old days, man. We need to do a case race soon. You're going to beat me, but I'm down. But like, I just, I, I haven't. I'm going to come to your house like next weekend and we're going to sit in the backyard in the cold. Are you, are you good? Do you have a fire pit? I don't, but I need to get one. All right, I need to. I'm bringing one. Okay. I'm bringing a fire pit. Um, I need to. I need to get like outdoor furniture and shit. I haven't got any of that shit yet. But, um, are you gonna spend the night? Who's gonna fucking stay up with Becca and the baby? We should rethink this. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like we work out a way where like I can like come here or like you can come there for the night. We can send Becca and the baby away like to you know like somewhere. Oz. Else. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Send them away. Send them away. Send them away. And then we just get fucking loaded. Yeah. Dude, you know how bad I want to get just stupid fucking drunk? Yeah, I know. Like, so bad. Yeah. So bad. I haven't had a drink in my house yet. We'll do it. I haven't had a cigar or a drink in my house. Well, regardless, I'm going to come and we're going to have like a nice little glass of whisk. Well, it's something to celebrate you being there and hugging. Uh, but outside of that. <laughs> and hugging. Yeah, like I, I haven't gotten like, I'm like afraid to get drunk because I know if I get drunk, I'm not going to wake up with the baby in the night. It's also going to be brutal to wake up if you have to. But that's the thing. It's like, I won't. Like, Becca will be like, babe, 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 she needs a new diaper. And I'll just be like, yo, shh. <laughs> no. Shut up. No way, dude. <laughs> no way. I Get me a glass of water, please. And that's the other thing. When I wake up, I'm like, I'm parched. Yeah. So it would be it would be rough. We're going to do it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Anyway, where can they find you, Frank? F. Alvarez 8085 on Twitter and on Twitch if you want to come hang out with me. Play some video games. It's always a good time. And then the Frank Alvarez on Instagram. Again, make sure you check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. And what day does this come out? Is this coming out before or after March 11th? Either way, March 11th, I have my debut match in the Movie Trivia Schmodown. For those of you guys that don't know, it's Movie Trivia, competitive Movie Trivia League with a uh, flair of WWE with storylines. It's fucking awesome. Please go check them out. And my debut match against Brother Lomas is on, uh, it's either on there or it will be on on March 11th. So please, 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 please go check it out. I'm fucking nervous. Yes, and go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. 
And uh, yeah, like you said, the Patreon. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. My big boy, 29 years of life. Do you have any parting gifts, parting things to say for your 29th year? Seriously. Um, nope. See you next time. Oh, no, fuck <laughs>